Warm waters have been disastrous for America's sockeye salmon. The endangered fish now need humans to help them on their annual upstream journey. Here's Chris Martinez. Rivers in Idaho, once filled with sockeye salmon, are now mostly empty. The fish couldn't get that far. I can't imagine anything worse than this year to lose that proportion of the run. Biologist Russ Kiefer says salmon start dying off when water temperatures reach 72 degrees. Already it's reached 74 on parts of the Snake River used by salmon to spawn on their treacherous 900 mile journey from the Pacific up several rivers to central Idaho. The numbers tell the story. We were expecting 2,000 fish. Instead of 2,000 sockeye, only 45 made it all the way. So Idaho Fish and Game officials took the unusual step of trapping other migrating salmon downriver, the few that were at least able to swim halfway. They loaded them onto trucks, headed to this hatchery. Having to go to the emergency trap and haul was not an ideal situation. Jeff Heindel is a coordinator with Idaho Fish and Game. I'd rather have them in the river swimming on their own, but in terms of species preservation, you know, it's a necessary evil. They were successful migrating in a very tough year, so they will be the ones that, for this generation, provide a majority of the eggs and sperm, so the next generation should be a little bit better able to handle if they experience these type of conditions again. Those fish are now helping give biologists a chance to further repopulate the salmon in captivity. That's what's happening in these tanks, where sockeye are bred and kept three years to then at least give them a shot at flourishing in the wild. Potentially, what would have happened had you not stepped in? Very few, if any of them, would have survived. While scientists have been able to save the sockeye for now, their future could still be jeopardized if this past summer's heat and drought become the new normal. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Eagle, Idaho.